Yeah, you're looking right here, Jake, because this is our weekly update, and now we're live right now. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys, this is Jake. He's back, and if you hear in the background, that's Max. Peggy. I, oh, Max. No, that's Max. That's who you prayed for last week, because Max... Uh, Came home missing some parts. <laughs> he did, and I think he's broken, because uh, he's a wild, stinking child. Share this on all your platforms. Make sure you get the word out. If you're not going to share it, at least talk about it, okay? Because we got a lot coming up. A lot is happening over the next three weeks, Jake. It's um, it's going to be really cool what's going on church. By the way, welcome back, dude. Yeah. I mean, you were gone for like three months. Three weeks. And uh, it was good. Three weeks. It was good that you were gone. Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah. Good for y'all. Uh, yeah, it was. It was. Awesome. It, it was good. I hope, I hope you got some rest and camp and that kind of stuff. What's coming up this Sunday? This Sunday is Serve Sunday. Edward's going to be talking about service. We're going to have opportunities for you to sign up to serve. If you've ever taken our membership class, we define membership as this. People that partner with us to help us create ministry environments, fund ministry environments, and serve in ministry environments. And so you're going to get an opportunity to sign up to serve in our various ministry environments, kids ministry, youth ministry, uh, worship tech, uh, first impressions, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. care meals. Hey, I'm really excited about something new we're doing in first impressions, what we doing? Edward. We're going to have uh, a, a, a spot on our first impressions team uh, where you can not only meet visitors, but you sit with them during the service to interpret Edward's sermons. And mm -hmm. let me tell you how this was birthed. Mm -hmm. I had a visitor tell me one time that the Edward talks really, really fast and uses a lot of big words that, that, that he didn't understand. And so I was like, well, what, what better ministry could there be in service to assign a buddy to a visitor so that when Edward's talking so fast and using all those big words, he can interpret that to the visitors that they could better understand. So I'm really excited about that. It's going to be good. I think it's going to help us gain some traction with some of our folks be really really good so hmm. first impressions yeah care meals ministry taking meals to folks in need kids students serve 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 i'm excited about this sunday because what we talked about last week the hospital the spa that that we are here to serve people both that are dying and hell bound those who are converted and newborns and those who are growing the way we disciples we serve people and so i'm excited about this sunday also the next sunday on the 21st we are doing a baptism sunday right. and i think we're setting it uh eight right now uh baptisms and we're still kind of working to solidify those we had a baptism last week and one of our small groups uh baptized someone uh, yeah, in you'll the get lake to, you'll get to see that video on the 21st oh you, you, as a part we did of get a video it. yeah oh awesome so hey if you're interested or you know somebody that's interested ashley did her baptism class last night with the children i'm excited kiddos. to hear about how that went if you're interested in being obedient in a baptism get in touch with us uh, we would love for you to do uh do that on the 21st of august as we continue in our series i am the church that's right uh, so god's calling a people to himself and and so we get to be a part of that and then jake this is the last sunday of the month coming up the 28th, the 28th we'll do membership and Women facing cancer together. And? I don't know. Small groups. Oh, Edward, come on now. <laughs> yeah, it will be small group Sunday. Yeah, so the whole service, the preaching part of the service, it won't be Edward, so I won't need the interpreters for this Sunday. Uh, it'll be me. We'll be preaching on small groups, the importance of community, and then you'll have an opportunity to do some things with that. But then after the service on the 28th, we're going to have membership class. Women facing cancer together. Women will meet in one room, membership class in another room. I'm really excited about membership. Mm -hmm. We don't do it during the summer, so uh, we'll have a lot of you that have been visiting over the summer that will want to take membership. And if you take it in August, Edward's going to waive your tithing fees. Mm, when did we start those? Good deal. Tithing fees. <clears throat> Hey, one last thing I do want to remind you this week, we have grief support and grief support is going to be meeting in a 101 this week, not in the generations auditorium. We've got another meeting that's going on. Uh, so if you are going to be a part of that grief support or you are a part of that, uh, maybe hang out in the hallway in the back Sunday hallway. morning <laughs> to help people find that it's that back hallway. We'll have signs put yeah, out that we have, um, 
so you'll kind of know where that is this week. Jake, what else do we have, man? Anything? Back on my diet. <clears throat> I'm going to lose some weight. Mm -hmm. Excited about that. So what is your diet? I uh, just, you know, don't eat a bunch of sugary, starchy, carby things. So nothing good. Do a little exercise in the yeah. evening time. What, did you do any exercise this morning? No, I said evening time. Oh. Evening I time. You. I got you. I got you. See, this is what I'm talking about. And this is why we need you on that first impressions team. I mean. Hmm. Summer, we sure do love you. Glad to have you back, dude. Yeah. Missed you. Uh, really did. I missed <clears throat> you. And glad you're back. Mm -hmm. It's part of the video where nobody's listening anyway. So This uh, is the part where nobody's listening. So if you made it this far. Yeah. Send us a text Let us know. Let us I, know if you made it this far. Sometimes we don't even know who watches these things. So yeah. uh, it kind of gives us some Nobody. encouragement. So we love you. I cannot wait to see you Sunday. Hey, listen, bring somebody with you. As I told you last week, we've added chairs in the auditorium. This is a great way. We did add chairs. Uh, people are getting back in routine. So invite someone with you. In all seriousness, sit with them. Your dog uh, is eating a hang piece on. of bark. He does that all the time. Uh, so love you. Can't wait to see you Sunday. Uh, 10 o'clock Sunday morning.